Look at that. First surfing wound right there. Tore up. I had a rock. Good morning everybody. All right, so today is the first day I'm going to try surfing. I got the board there all waxed up, tied down, and I'm headed to the beach. Got my wetsuit, got my lunch. It's going to be a beach day. Just pulled up. There's Jimmy way out there. <laughs> Long walk. Jimmy, he's on my surfboard. Wait for it. There he is. I tell you what, nothing shows you how out of shape you are like surfing. I've been bruised, battered, out of shape, got my first surfing injury. Who puts a rock in the water? Big ass rock. So we just finished up. First surfing adventure. Board's all ready to go. Jimmy's is on top. And I did not realize how good a shape you need to be to surf. Or maybe just when you're starting because this break beating the break was tough. But I got out there and I surfed too. I didn't stand up. I chest rode him. But I made a go at it. But it was fun. It was something really to do. Beautiful day. Check it out. I'm gonna eat my sandwich. I gotta go pick up my camera at Best Buy. And we're going to Disney World and tomorrow. I'm super pumped. Got my lunch right here. Everything else I need. Good to go. I had to get out of there. It got cold and windy and the, and the brake started changing. About broke my toe a while ago on a rock in the surf. I, I fell off the surfboard my toe hit the rock in the sand. And you know, I was wondering what is a big ass rock doing in the brake? And then I thought that it's gotta be, well, apart from all the hurricanes, I was thinking maybe it's the rocks that the shark fishermen drop when they take their baits out and then they drop them with a big rock and then they have a little piece of line that is attached from the rock to the big bait and when the shark picks it up it breaks the little line that's what i was thinking it was but it was a sharp concrete boulder just passed Jimmy and I think he almost lost his paddle board he was on the side of the road readjusting it's really windy so could rip that paddle board right off the top of his car just got my camera can T6i stepping my game up y'all may laugh at this but I had to leave my surfboard in the Best Buy parking lot not a good idea. So here's what I did. I just wrapped my, my safety cable around the fins like five times. Well, it's still here. It worked. I call it a success. Hey, it's still here. It's going to take him at least 10 or 15 minutes to get it. By that time, I'll be on them. I'll be on them quick, fast, in a hurry by that time. i tell you what. All right, so here's what I got. I got the YouTubers pack. Canon T6i. Pretty pumped. Check it really felt I needed to step up my game here on YouTube. I needed to be able to zoom in. GoPros really can't do that. And better time lapse, a little quality, a little better quality images on the thumbnails. So give it a shot, guys. I'm trying to go big. There it is. Can T6i right there. Rode mic, total package. With the doggone Gorilla Pod, Jacoby. Whatever you call this bad boy tripod, 
straight sexiness. And it's got a strap. All right, so my dad is working the horse out here, and I'm testing out my new camera right here. The zoom is a little close. Gotta look over here. So let's check him out. Heidi's on the prowl. She's on the prowl. Show us some of those cool uh, horse reining tricks. All right, I can tell one thing. After using GoPros for years, this is a Cadillac. Like, I can tell right now by staring at the lens, a little, as, at the viewfinder there. It's amazing. Also, okay, to caveat on my surfing adventure. Surfing is hard. Those dudes are stud athletes. You gotta be able to swim like a fish because just breaking the brake, breaking the brake, breaking the brake, so that five times fast was tough, okay? I literally almost, my arms felt like they were about to fall off and then fall off again. And I thought I was in decent shape. So those dudes are in good shape. Also, I totally understand the passion in it right now because it's like riding a bucking bronco or being on top of a bull when he comes out the gate or uh, being strapped to a missile is like when you're on the top of a big wave and it's just fixing the brake and it just explodes you off the top of it. Like, there's not many things out there besides like combat and jumping out of airplanes and riding bulls that will get you the crazy ass feeling of being pummeled, first being ejected when you catch the wave and then being pummeled by the wave. It's it's undescribable. You just got to try it. So I am 100% happy that I got a surfboard and tried it. And that I wasn't, I didn't chicken out when I saw those big waves out there and then the thought of sharks. And I almost broke my toe. But now we're fixing to go eat some dinner, preferably sushi. Me and Samantha, her mom. I think we're going to this place downtown Pensacola should be awesome try surfing look at that first surfing wound right there holy cow tore up i had a rock check out the sushi we got starting off our vacation right pre-disney 